Hello and welcome to another installment of the Home Handyman. Today we're going to talk about programming your thermostat through the web portal. As you can see we're already on our web portal and we're going to click on the schedule. Schedule is where the program is set and there are two basic ways to program your thermostat. One is by interview and the other is via a chart. As you can see there's already a program set up for this thermostat and because it's highlighted you can see that we're in the day part of the schedule. So let me show you how we created the schedule. So we click on repeat schedule setup and it tells us why it's good to program our thermostat. Click on next and there are four different options for programming your thermostat. The first three are programmed by interview which makes it very simple to program your thermostat and the last one brings up a chart so that you can adjust each day individually. So we're going to start with the program by interview. <coughs> the three options are um, Monday through Friday the same, Saturday and Sunday the same, Monday through Friday the same, Saturday and Sunday different, and all seven days of the week are the same. So we're going to start with this first one here and click next. Okay now you see that it's going to ask us a few questions and it's going to start with Monday through Friday and it asks us when we wake up on Monday through Friday. Well everyone wakes up around six o'clock and it says are there people home during the day? Well in this case no because this is the weekdays. What time do they leave? Well they leave around 7.30. First person returns home about 4.30 and they go to bed about 11 o'clock. You notice that it talks about only being able to support times up to 11.55. Since this is a schedule for a day, you can't cross the day boundary. So if you do go to bed at 1 in the morning, that's actually your first time. And that would have gone up in this section here. And everything gets skewed down. So we got the Monday through Friday set up. And now we're going to set up the weekend. People sleep in on the weekends, so we'll say 10 o'clock. And there are people home during the day. So when I click this, you'll notice that these two will go away. And then it asks us when we go to bed. Well, it's a weekend. We're going to stay up a little later. We're going to go to bed at 1130. And now we're done. So we click Next. Now it's asking us if we want to use the same times for a cool program. And in this case, we do. If not, it's, we repeat asking you those questions for the cool side. Now it's going to ask you what temperature you want it to be when you're home. So as you can see, it gives you some suggestions for the temperature and gives you some information about why you should set a certain temperature. So what we're going to do is go ahead and set the temperature for heat and do the same in cool. Now it shows us our schedule. So we have our schedule, it's completed, and if we need to, we could make an adjustment. So let's say that at night, 84 is too warm to sleep, and we want to set it for 79. We can do that. We can adjust any of the times or the temperatures and make any changes we need to make. When you're done, click complete. And that takes us back to the beginning. And if we look at the schedule, it'll show us our schedule. And if you want to look at the cool schedule, you click on cool. Now we're going to show you how to program the second way by chart. So if we go back into schedule, we click on repeat schedule setup, click next again, and then say my home doesn't fit any of these categories and click next. It will bring up a schedule that we can edit. And we got one for heat and one for cool. At any time, you can reset it back to what the government recommends on the Energy Star program. But it's very simple to make changes. You just go to the block you want to make a change and make the change. So it's very, very simple. If you put an invalid temperature or a time in here, you'll notice that it tells you that the temperature must be in between 35 and 95. Also, if you put a wrong time in here, like if we make this time 10 o'clock and the next time's 8 a.m. that's not going to work and it'll give us an error for that also. So we got to make sure that those are in consecutive order. So that's how you would adjust the schedule in the uh, chart mode. Very very simple. You also notice that you can set away temperatures for heat and cool here also. When you're done click complete. That'll take you back to the beginning 
and you can get to the schedule very quickly also without going through the all the different steps you can just see your full schedule and adjust it here so there's two ways to look at your schedule thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in our next installment